Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm on the road heading to pick up some race car parts for our Generation 4 Impressive. And we're also picking a race car up. Believe it or not, yours truly here is going to wheel a car on March 18th at Poplar, easy for me to say, at Poplar Bluff Speedway for the Shamrock Showdown. This will be an A mod. And it's my buddy Ryan's car, so I gotta give a big shout out to him and a thank you. I actually pulled in the trailer that I bought from him a while back, right behind me. I went and got it not too long ago, minutes ago, matter of fact. I uh, had to get some stuff repaired on it, and uh, we're heading down the road. Like I said, we're going to Impressive Shop. Then we're going over to Ryan's house to grab a GRT. Never drove one before, but a GRT modified. It's going to have a 604 crate motor in it, and we're going to run it down there at the plug. So, just kind of want to fill you guys in, take you along today, and uh, show you about what we got going on. And we'll get back in the shop, and I'll show you the progress of the uh, Impressive. I kind of put my head down and did some wiring, stuff that it just takes so long to do that I really don't know how to make a good video out of it. So, I got that all buttoned up. I'll show you the, you know, the end results on that. I'll show you this uh, GRD race car we're going to race as well. So stick around, guys, and let's get going. Well, guys, uh, no race car yet. I got to go back tomorrow and grab that. Uh, time w just wouldn't allow it. So I got my the rest of my body panels picked up from Mr. Donnie Jumper at the Impressive Race Car Shop. Always good to go over and talk to them old boys. Donnie and Joel both I consider good buddies of mine even though we give each other a hard time. Um, so uh, just part of the racing family. Guys, if you are local or not, it doesn't matter and you're looking for a great modified, heavily consider an Impressive Race Car. We've got two different kind of cars. You can call them and talk to them to get one to fit your needs but they are some good cars and on top of that good good old boys so i really am proud to be part of the team all right so i guess i will come back with you tomorrow we'll go grab that grt hot rod and get it ready to race in just a couple weeks so till then let's run over to the shop and see what all we got done on the impressive and see maybe we can get some more stuff done before tomorrow all right guys just made it back here to the house and uh changed threw on my old number seven garage hoodie get yours at shop old number seven garage.com grab you a uh, sweatshirt if you get a chance check out all the merch we have left not a whole lot but we do have a few of these so i've got the trailer back here so if you guys remember we took this with us several times last year and uh it just needed a little tlc it had a, an axle issue and wiring issues. Got that all lined out, ready to go. How you doing? And uh, let's see if I can. There's the. Oh my goodness gracious! Hi, Lucky. Hi, buddy. Anyway, that's the inside of the trailer there. Nothing special going on, but it is pretty cool. Being a little walk-in thing. Got the lights back here. Got a. That is a tire rack that's covered up. Pretty cool. This is actually a neat freaking trailer. Uh, former Kenny Schrader trailer, then they kind of transformed it a little bit. But uh, let's take a walk in the shop and take a look at our impressive race car and see how she's coming. We got some pretty cool stuff that I got to show you guys. Hey, that's a good looking hoodie you got there, bud. I know the guy personally. Personally, know the man. Yeah. Shop all number seven garage.com. I, I said we're sponsoring this video. Oh, yeah. So go to, go to the site and buy some merchandise help us put this car together we'd appreciate you let me show you what we got on the hot run so for what we got going on here since the last time you guys have seen this do you remember what we've done all of it <laughs> we'll start with the front end it's all done got the tie rods on it Almost. it's done ish it doesn't have a steering shaft right is that what you mean yeah, oh yeah 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 pretty much done so we've got the calipers on it these mount on the front now. As you see, our Joe's upper control arm here is clearanced. This is the shock mount here. It's gonna go straight down. And we uh, customized 
our uh, Weir's machine lower with the slug. That's where your shock bolt's gonna go. And just keep the shock on the back and the brake caliper on the front. That's, that's all that does. You see these guys putting these on the front? That brake caliper does not know where it's at. It doesn't do anything for handling, promise you. Uh, Hyperco Springs in there. We did partner up with them this year, so a big shout out to uh, Hyperco for uh, supporting the racers. They do a really cool sponsorship program. Check them out, guys. Make sure you tell them old number seven garage sent you too. Brake lines are all done. All the wiring's done. Like I said, centers, all that. Oh, we need to tighten this up. Just moved it. That and this. Yeah, I'm waiting to go. Okay. Uh, moving on around. Brake lines are on. They're not tight. I think they're just hand tight because we're not sure if that's where it's going to go. Uh, bearing spacers. That's the seal holding that one up. Bearing spacers are also in. You can see. I mean, the seal is always going to slow you down a little bit. Put a wheel on there. It'll rotate a lot better. Those are 11 sixteenths. Moving on down. Got our brake lines fitted. Real nice. All the way down through there. We got... I think it turned out pretty good. It goes over straight to that. Steering shaft's in there. Apologize if I made you dizzy. Wiring is completely finished. All tidied up. Ready to go. MSD box mounted. This is a... Pretty cool little setup, how everything's made. Got our grounds, how you like that? Grounds are all set up. Steering, our steering starter solenoid. Got a remote starter. Our coil and MSD are away from each other. And you ask MSD about this or just reading the instructions. You're not supposed to put these too close to each other. That's why that's way back there. You guys remember our uh, Joe's throttle pedal? Y'all love to see that. Well, let me clean this screen off here and I'll show you. You know dang good and well we got that Joe's throttle pedal mounted right back in this baby. So it's all said and done. Which reminds me, B, I need to put that support on the other side of the thing. Yep. Uh, also got our Joe's uh, brake bias adjuster right there. Nice billet piece. Got the clicks in it. Doing real good. Uh, it would have the clicks in it. Should, should I tighten that up? But right now we're in the adjustment phase. Got our brake shut off. I had actually smoked a uh, brake shut off solenoid because this was wired up independent to itself and i accidentally left it on and it smoked the solenoid while i was in the dome and staging had it on went up and smoke all our gauge panels our quick car stuff got the quick car disconnect right there you can actually pull your key out and take it with you that's you know a race car's got a key that's pretty neat anyway Got our Long Acre digital gauges, just like we had last year, same ones. They uh, performed perfectly, so they definitely went in this car. Collapsible shaft. Um, check out our LaJoy seat. This thing's mounted in here. She's done. She's in there 100, 110%. My favorite steering wheel in the world, of course. We're going to try something different. If you look at this seat, you can kind of tell it's not in there straight. Why is that? B, why, why we do that? <laughs> that's, that's why i asked you i was gonna see if you remembered that yeah when we put this seat in we must have drank too much because it's not straight here let me straighten it up now my thought process is like a lot of guys when your car is in dynamics and you're up on the bars you're up like this right front end right front down left front up that's going to help you sit a little straighter maybe it'll help i don't think it's going to win or lose the race it's more about being being comfortable uh so that's what we got this is a turn that uh put that battery up and stuff and i'm gonna turn this on yes that's nathan nathan rolling up lucky you getting excited about it who it yeah, talk to him okay so um actually i have hockey it's, it's nathan it's nathan i'm telling you it's, it's nathan you better sit yes it's nathan yes oh, headphone users beware uh, when he gets done talking about it, then we're going to look at some other stuff. Uh, we did mount our superior fuel cell. It's all in there, ready to go. Need to get some orange tape right behind this. That kind of gives you a hint of what we're going to do. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see orange on this thing. <laughs> I mean, come on. Anyway, uh, superior fuel cell in there, mounted up. The fuel lines are plumbed. All this stuff came right out of the other car and went right in this, didn't it, B? 
I mean, we didn't modify it, but we, we just put it in. And that was what we was hoping that was going to happen. Just everything goes right in here. The LED lights, straight off Amazon, truck bed light kit, zip tied on with the 3M backing on it, ready to go. Got them over here on the Halo 2, strapped around. What up? What's up? Lucky hey. was talking about it. You're looking heavy. Where can you get that at? Where can you? Only on what? Seven shop hold number oh, seven. Shop hold number yes. Help a guy out here. I was telling him we sponsored this video. Yeah. He missed you. I know. <laughs> We're twins. Triplets. Oh, that's your dad anyway. <laughs> uh, just so you guys know, okay, there's a lot of people that are confused about this situation. That's a Higgins and that's a Higgins, but they're not the same Higgins. No relation. No relation. Nathan is not his son, and he is not his dad, nor is he my dad. That's Brian Higgins, that's Nathan Higgins, and this is Tim Nash, and we are not related, just so you know. We're gonna we cleared that up. It's all it's in the clear now. Uh, right. It, it, somebody else is, is that my hat? That is your hat. Oh, I mean like technically. Oh, probably. Okay. Because I got one. I had three when we went to the dome. I got one. Yeah, I think this one is. Yeah. So yeah, okay. Well I'll, I'll get I'll get back. Uh, I'll have uh, uh R and R make me some more. Yeah, we need to get some back. more merch. It's sitting on the I dresser. Hung it up. No, this is when you hung up, the other one's in on the dresser. That one looks way too clean to be your hat. I want to wear it when I go out and do <laughs> That's it going to town hat. Going to town hat. Okay, well, what I was going to show you here is uh, this blower we got set up. Uh, this is a CSR Performance, and I actually have these on my Shop Old Number 7 Garage website. This is a corded version. They make it cordless also. It uses a 20-volt DeWalt-style battery, so you don't even have to wire it in if you don't want. It's got this hose that is collapsible or not. I got the mag lock on here. Guys, look that up. That's a super high power magnet. It goes here and your helmet snaps on. There's no more uh, your stuff falling off or anything like that. And if you need to get out in a hurry, it disconnects. You put the uh, a little connector here on your roof like that with 3M. You put that right there. You can always get to your hose. That's a big deal in racing because I know mine's came off before and you're fogging your shields up. But we're gonna flip this thing on real quick. I'm gonna turn this battery on. Don't be throwing no boxes at me. Uh, so <laughs> funny, funny story. Watch out now. Watch out. You seen that, didn't you? Yeah, you seen it. Funny story. Go check out our shorts here on YouTube or the reels on Facebook. It's uh, Tim's Tim the Tool Man's Tuesday Reviews. I don't know. Tim's Tool Talk Tuesday. Yeah, because he came up with it. Check that out. It's just a little funny little skit about these. But anyway, if you guys are interested, uh, this goes on an inch and three quarter, inch and a half bar. It's got adapters. I sell them. I also sell wheel covers and lots of other cool stuff on shopold7garage.com. Your purchase helps get us to the races back and forth, maintaining our car, and it supports us, and we appreciate it. So anyway, enough rambling. You see, we've got a lot of the car done behind the scenes. I really wish we could have recorded, but it was I, did, I just didn't know how to make a good video out of it because it was just whatever. So here's where we're at. We now have lots of stuff to do. Like I said, we got the rear end over there ready to put together. We are waiting on parts. There's a few spacers for the four link rods and stuff that we're waiting on. But I think what we're gonna do is put that rear end in maybe, and we'll get the spacers in later and just throw a bolt in it. But moving forward, that's what we gotta do, right B? Move forward. And we also have to make room for that car coming in tomorrow. So anyway, we're gonna get after it. Told you. What's going on, hot rod? Root beer float? See, that one barely even had anything out of it. That's pretty good. You better not, don't let that fall. Hey, tell everybody hi. Hi. Nationator coming at you. Had a pretty good run over the last three races you did. One you didn't finish, and then you got second and second. Nice job. <coughs> Easy. Well, guys. We are getting ready to put our left rear together. Now this car runs a shock and spring behind the rear end. The rear end. Yeah, and you see this is a 20 inch spring. So Weir's machine has made a really cool spring compressor. How many of you guys fought with this? Three men and a boy to push this down. That guy right there has. 
Uh, so Weir's makes it real easy. You got two spring sizes here that it accepts. And you put your spring right in there, compressor down, load it up. We'll show you how easy it is. Hide and watch. We're gonna lay that. See how that fits right in there? It actually centers up really nice. We'll lay our Weir's machine OD grab spring cup on there. What do you need? You need it on the top too? Yeah, I want to put it on the top. And our other OD grab spring cup over here. Let it set there. You know what we need to do before we do that is get our bearing on there. Oh, yeah. Gotta get gotta get the bearing on there. Stay tuned. Hang on a minute. All right, guys. So when we're putting this together, it's important to know that we're putting our Weir's machine roller bearing. That goes in the top of your spring. And it's got two washers. This is all lubed up. See how that works? That's gonna go in the top part of our spring, our OD grab cups. That's the beauty of them because uh, they hold them right into place. Don't put it on the top and bottom. Just get your rollers on the top. If you're interested in learning any more about this, go to uh, Weir's Machine or check out the YouTube RTI Speed Tips with Bob and Chad. They really get you going on the, uh, the do's and the don'ts of going fast and stuff. So anyway, get that all centered up. Might take a little bit to line it up, but really cool how it works. You get this all done, then you slide your shock in there and you're ready to go. He's really getting her going here. We're doing the synchronized deal. And I just ran into him. I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking at this stuff, guy. Oh, God, that hurt. Anyway, it's working pretty good. We're getting her right in there. You think we ought to check it? Yep. Okay. Like I said, please be careful when doing this. Um, this is an extreme load that this is. I know this is a light spring. But just be very, very conscientious. Consci what's the word? Conscientious. Conscientious. Be very that whenever you're doing this because uh, it could be pretty dangerous. I'm gonna have to take that uh, eye off, yeah. Okay, now we get our stuff in there. Put that, can you squeeze that? Oh, that's actually good to go. That's that's where it's supposed to be. All right? Where's it going on the other side? No, that's not that's incorrect. That's incorrect. It's gotta go on the top side. <laughs> it's our first time. Yeah, we're gonna have that nut wore out. This is our first time putting this all together, but I mean if we did it right the first time, we would be considered professionals, right? Yeah. Real real world. Okay, now that goes on the top, as you can see. It goes on the top, squeeze that baby down, or however that works. Take that off there, put that on. Then put that on there, squeeze that down. Bada bing, bada boom, put the nut on there. Hee -hee. We're getting her done now, boys. Then we'll tighten that all up, put our shock extension on there. Yeah, left-handed, nice work. Put that baby on there. <clears throat> Not left-handed? Nope. Okay. Then we'll lock that. Probably not with that big guy. I don't know if you're going to get that because you ain't got much room there. Mushroom. Get that baby on there. I'll hold it. You don't like mushrooms? You have to tell me that all the time. I'd go get a three-quarter reel with three-quarter wrench. <laughs> one laying right there, I think. B, right there. You walk, you walk past one. <laughs> I knew which one I wanted. I'm at you. <clears throat> okay. Now, Chase is just over there picking and a grinning, singing, having a good old time. We'll let these off. I'm, this is pretty talented stuff because I'm doing this and recording. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty talented. <laughs> I'm really good at this. Right now. now you just got to hold your mouth right, boy. Oh, good. Yeah. Anyway, then you're done. And that's how you do that. Throw that down. I don't need that anymore. No longer do I need that. That's how you put a shock on with an extremely long 20-inch spring without breaking fingers off and everything else. So, weirsmachine.com. What's the part number? Well, you got a WM180. Check him out. Quick tip. Maxima matte finish cleaner. 
I just wiped this thing off it straight off the racetrack. Didn't even touch it after the dome. Does a real nice job. Cuts the mud. Let's read about it. Cleans and protects. Matt finishes. Adds no gloss. Removes dust, dirt, road grime, fingerprints, and more. 100% biodegradable. MaximaUSA.com. Enter old number seven. Gets you a discount. All right, here's some more cool stuff. Well, here's the machine, of course. We're measuring our lower control arm lengths. And uh, you can get this thing here at Speedway. Uh, radius rod length checker. But these uh, jam nuts that Chad makes, it's actually the jam nuts here, but it actually scoots it way out here so you're not getting into your bird cages. He also sells these wrenches. So go down, you're gonna go uh, down too. <laughs> you're going down, boy. Anyway. Going down. All right, well, I'm not gonna lock them on until we get on the car. But anyway, he sells a little quarter, inch and a quarter inch. He saws off and it makes it real neat to work on them and it puts your jam nut way back there oh, hey look at me put your jam nut way back there i had them looking down at the ground what's the part number on it a wm 450r and a wm 450l pretty cool fk rod ends on the end you know that top secret stuff going on here hammer fist over there getting her done we've got the bars mounted slowly getting there that rear end is almost underneath this baby. Oh, it's getting serious now. He's got to sit on the ground. I better get my... Oh! What do they call this? When you got to drink this to be smart? My brain juice? I don't know. Brain? I don't know. Well, you make, make something up. What would you call it? You're thinking liquid? What is it? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. No shooting going on, though. No, yeah, shooting from the hip. That's what we're doing. What's going on, guys? I want to take just a second to give a special shout out to our new sponsor, the Sand Trap Indoor Golf Club. Three golfing simulators inside the Sand Trap let you play rain or shine, don't matter what it's doing outside. Guys, check out the boneless wings, bacon cheeseburger, buffalo chicken wrap and chicken quesadilla that we got while we were there man they were so good and you know i had to grab a giant bite of this bacon cheeseburger chase followed suit of course while cena stole french fries check out brandon bates on the piano he done a great job it was a pleasure listening to him and uh they do have live music quite often at the sand trap so check them out the sand trap has you covered wherever it is golf good music or great food once we got our bellies full, we had to go over to the uh, golfing simulator and try our super sweet skills, of course. And they got many, many different games. See here, we're playing beer pong. But anyway, what a fun time, guys. So quite a unique little place. Never seen anything like it, but a great time can be had by all. Thank you, Sand Trap. Let's get back to the video. Next day here, guys. Sorry, the battery died on me. Uh, got Chase with me, B. And we're headed to get the uh, GRT from Ryan so we can get it ready. And Chase is drinking boba. <laughs> and uh, oh, yeah, speaking of which, got the, uh, let's see if I can get this around here. Luck of the Irish. He's drinking one too. Chase got boba drink from On Point Nutrition. Of course, that's Kim and I's business. Uh, but that Luck of the Irish is pretty good. Pretty good. Anyway, uh, so we're going to. Just up here, just a little bit past Impressive Race Cars where I was at yesterday to get this uh, GRT car from Ryan. We're going to run in a Popper Bluff May 18th, or May, yeah, I don't think so, March 18th for this uh, Shamrock Showdown. So I guess we'll get up to here, on, get up the road here, get it picked up, let you see a little bit about it, and uh, go from there. So strap in, let's go. All right, made it here to ryan's shop and i'm um, getting some new tires pushed out to the trailer and oh chase <laughs> <We're good. laughs> what are you doing there bud <laughs> oh better get out of here i'm gonna get demonetized for listening to the radio <laughs> you're funny let me do a backflip ready i'm rolling you see ya uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man get out of there get out of there yeah you're just big enough to get in there too oh oh i have a headache now 
I bet you do. I slammed into this and I fell. Yeah, off. you wrecked. All right. Well, here's the car, GRT. We're going to get her loaded up, and you guys will see more about this later. But right now, the plan is get her loaded on the trailer and get back to the house. Ford Chase wrecks the place. There's our buddy Joel, by the way. How you doing? Good, good. Good. Watch your fingers. Go ahead, pull on it. Watch your fingers. And while Chase and B's getting that ramp loaded up, here's your car on the trailer. Looks pretty good. So we gotta go through the thing front to back, make sure she's good to go. It's got a crate motor in it. Don't know the year of it, but it is a GRT. That's an IMCA car, so we'll see how we do down there with the uh, USRA boys at Poplar Bluff. But big shout out to Ryan for letting us drive this thing. So let's get this thing back to the house and get her checked out. Chase, you excited? You think this car is pretty cool? Yeah. Cool. Let <laughs> so that'll be the end of this video, guys. We appreciate you. We hope you like what you're seeing. And tune into the next video where we get this thing tuned up and ready to go for a race at March 18th at Popper Bluff Speedway for the Shamrock Showdown. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. I had a dream that I was gonna leave my own town with a six string on my back Complained every bar that I could get my foot in Complained all the songs